Hey guys, my um, flashlight is on my phone. So if I look really weird, that's why. Um, I am vlogging because today was a big day. Today we went and saw Grayson's new classroom and his new preschool teacher. So he starts in less than a week. Today is Wednesday and he starts next Tuesday. So let's see what he thought of it. Grayson, how was, how was meeting your teacher? Did you have fun? What, what, what class are you in this year? The frog class? He's having iPad time, so he's not gonna talk at all. But yes, he was a turtle last year, and this year he's in the frog class. And so we got um, lots of paperwork for like me to learn about the teacher and his upcoming school year. He got a little like frog from his teacher, and it has a little note, and it says, I'm so happy you're in my class. I think that's so cute. He was so pumped about it. And then he also um, got a little name tag to wear to school so they could start learning their names. It's a little frog. So that was really fun. We went and we met his teacher. I gave him a little gift. I found it on Instagram. I follow Brittany Born Leach on Instagram. She always has amazing teacher gift ideas. So I just borrowed her most recent one, which is just like taking like an apple container they were like a dollar in the dollar in the dollar section at target and filling it with just like little things and a little gift card and just said i'm so excited for you to be my teacher so try to start off the year on a good note because those preschool teachers they are amazing at their patience and just working with you know four and five year olds or three year olds every day all day so good on them for doing that so we gave that to her. We got to go on a little scavenger hunt around the classroom. We did the exact same thing last year. So we got this little um, sheet and it was like, can you find the writing center? Can you find the sink, the bathroom, the carpet? Just trying to like orient himself with the classroom. I'm sure they'll do a lot of that in the first week or so. Um, but we saw like, you know, where they'll have circle time. Well, we found his cubby with his name on it where his work will be. Um, we found where all the toys are. There's lots of toys there, lots of like older kid toys, which are really um, exciting to see. They had magnetiles and other like magnetic toys for kids to play with, which are really, really good for kids. Um, they have blocks for the kids to make like towers or castles or whatever, which is really fun. Um, puzzles, lots of books for the kids to read. Um, the teacher was very impressed that Grayson was reading all of the things. She kept like, there's, um, the word and then they also have a picture next to each thing and the teacher kept asking like what does this picture look like and I, I was like Grayson just read the word and so he just read the word so she was very impressed with him reading um she seems really awesome she's been teaching gosh let's see if it says it doesn't say on this sheet, but she, I think she's been teaching there for over 20 years. So she's very experienced, very knowledgeable with working with preschoolers. So I'm very excited. Grayson this year is in a nine person class. He had the choice to either be in a nine person class or an 18 person class. The 18 person class has two teachers. The nine person class has only one teacher. Um, and I wanted him in the smaller class because I researched it, which is silly, I think, but I researched it and they say that kids who are in smaller class group sizes tend to learn better so that's what I did and he ended up getting into it which was really hard because I'm sure there were a ton of kids that wanted to get into that class and funny enough like one of the kids on his soccer team is in his class and then one of the kids in my little mom's group is in his class so we already know like two of the kids which is really fun um hopefully He's good. He's nice to all the kids, <laughs> but it was fun. And they're getting in a new playground at his preschool. So we got to see like pictures of what that's going to look like. So he's pumped about that. And then they were giving out cookies. So he had an Oreo cookie. He was very excited. So all that went well. It was really fun. He was so excited. He we were, we laughed. We were in the car to go pick up Porter. My mom watched Porter, so I didn't have to take him to. And he kept saying the whole time, like, when can we go back? I want to go back and play in my classroom. So he is so excited for school. He's going to be counting down the days, and I'm excited for him too to just learn and 
um, work on those social skills and academics and so yeah i'm excited for him today's also been a crazy day because we um update on the house it's still for sale um but we have gotten three offers at once on this house now so we're juggling three different offers um and they're all lower than we want them to, but of course they don't know what the other person is offer offering. So we're having our agent work with the offers and telling them like highest and best by today. So we'll see what they end up coming up with. I'm hoping they get closer to our listing price, but we'll see what they end up coming up with. Yeah, I'm really excited because we went from having like tons of showings. We've gotten over 70 showings now, but no offers to all of a sudden we have three offers at once, which is crazy to me. Um, so we're hoping it works out in our favor. We're hoping maybe by the end of today or, or this weekend that um, we'll have sold the house or actually be not have sold it, but be in contract. I'm hoping it works out like that, but I don't know, we haven't had good luck with this whole housing thing, so I'm not getting my hopes up, so we'll see. Also today is Grayson's last swim class, so maybe I'll vlog a little bit of that. We're gonna take him for the last time. I am just gonna have swim be a summer thing, and with him starting school next week, um, we're just ending his swim at the end of the month, and today is the last day of August, it's August 31st, so today is his last day of swim. So he loved going to swim all the time and it was really good for him. I don't know that it really taught him much. He still doesn't know how to swim. He does better with like floating and like getting his head wet, which he struggled with in the beginning. So like he does certain skills better, but he's not swimming. So I'm not really sure like, if we'll go back to that specific place or maybe next summer like we'll try something different it could also be his age too like maybe he just needs to get a little older and like it'll just click um it's also hard because he only went once a week and so that's not a lot of time and it was only for 30 minutes so it was not a lot of time in the water i don't know that it was really a success but it was a fun summer activity for him and he enjoyed doing it i think if he hated it it would have been a lot harder to like go and pay all this money but since he loved it like it made it a little easier yeah today's the end of that um so busy 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 day for us but i hope you all are doing well and now i need to go do some work <laughs> and i'll let you guys or i'll keep you guys updated on the house hey guys so i'm editing this vlog right now and i just realized i never ended the vlog or like told you guys what ended up happening. So I'm just gonna end it here. Like I said, we had three people offering us offers. One was like an offer from a, um, like a company who just wanted to like flip it themselves and um, resell it. Another one was from somebody who was like from out of town and they like severely gave us like a very low offer. And then another one was from a guy who like wanted to buy it for his employee or something. Anyway, all the offers were low. Um, and so we had, but they all came in like at the same time. So we told our realtor like, hey, go tell all these three people that we have three offers on the table and give us your highest and best and we will pick someone. So we gambled, we hoped like that we would get a good offer or they would raise their offers. Um, the company was like, no, we're not raising it. The guy from out of town told us, um, no, we're not going to either. And then the third guy was like, okay, I'll come up. So he actually came up quite a bit. And then we actually were able to get him to come up even a bit more. And basically we picked his offer and we are in contract now, which is so, so exciting. We finally have like a light at the end of the tunnel. We still have to get through the inspection, which um, that's what Anthony is the most scared about um, because if like if the inspection goes and then they figure out like oh this house has a lot of problems we don't want to deal with it they can back out and then we're right back where we started 
but um hopefully this person won't do that and um they did write into their contract that they were going to buy our house as is so even with the inspection it really shouldn't affect anything but we'll see anything is possible in this crazy market but right now we're just celebrating the fact that we have an offer we've accepted an offer we have 30 more days of owning two houses and then we will be done with our old house forever um, I'm not sad at all about losing our first house. I'm glad and I'm done with it. So very exciting no news, um, kind of crazy with summer ending and grace starting school and everything else going on, but that's just life lately. <laughs> oh, also the pregnancy, can't, can't forget about that, but that's just life for us lately, um, but we're just taking it one day at a time. So please send us good thoughts that the um, house closing goes through and that in 30 days from now we will have sold our house so fingers crossed i hope that happens but i wanted to just put this clip in here to keep you guys updated on what's going on because life is so crazy i just didn't even pick up the camera so i will see you guys in the next vlog thanks so much for watching make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye